Now I'm going to show you how to make um, a form in the Google Drive and how to embed it in your Blackboard. So hopefully you'll be able to do this when I'm finished. I'm sure you will. It's easy um, once you get the hang of it. So the first thing is I'm in my Google Drive right now, as you can see, and I'm just going to click Create. So however you enter um, Google Drive, go ahead and do that. And select a new form. And you can choose what you'd like the Google Drive, um, what you'd like the form to look like. Um, there are a lot of different kinds. Um, I feel fancy today, so I'm going to pick this cherry blossom one. I just think it's kind of nice. Um, and this is going to be um, an evaluation of the instructor. So make sure you name it because this is how it will save it in the drive. Also, keep show for new forms checked. It's just nice to do that because it makes it really easy on you uh, later when you want to do that. And click OK. Now you can put some instructions here if you want to, um, or whatever you'd like to put here. Some kind of little introduction is fine. Um, fill this out completely because I want to remind them they need to do all the questions. We have several different kinds of questions. It'll start one for you, and then you can go from there. Um, remember, this isn't a test, so it's not the kind of thing where you have a definite right answer you will enter. Um, rather, it's you're collecting whatever the answer is. It's going to take a little bit of grading, but it's nice if it's something a little bit more subject, uh, subjective. So uh, first, um, how was the instructor's form? Uh, whoever we're evaluating... We're going to go ahead and decide on that. So we can choose a scale. As you can see, there are a lot of different options. So a scale, you can set the numbers, and you can label the axes, too. Um, that's fine to do. If we're done completely, if it's only one question, you can click Done. But we're not. I want to add another item. So I'll click this little arrow, and I have all the choices of what I would like to add. And as you can see, there are a lot of options. So I would like a checkbox, um, which uh, exercise, whoops, exercise did the instructor do? And then you can just put in all the options. Again, I'm not exactly sure what questions you would want to ask, but these are just some of the kinds you could do. I think that's good. Um, and so now, if you want to, you can do done. Um, for right now, we're only going to have two questions on here. It's just going to be a short evaluation, but you can have as many as you want. And click done. Down here, you have this confirmation page. What do you want it to say when they finish? I want it to say, you are finished. Nice work. You can have it say whatever you want. If there are more instructions when they finish that part, you can put that there. You can show the link to submit another response if you want. Um, that's fine. I will not publish and result um, show the results to all the respondents because then the other students could see what they've done. I also want them to only have one chance and turn it in and they'll be done. So I want to make sure that's not checked. And we're ready. You can send the form. Now this is the part where you'll get it from your Google Drive into your Blackboard and they can do it right there in Blackboard. Um, you just you click this embed, and we'll get this code right here, this HTML code. And copy that. You can do Apple C if you're using a Mac, which I know you do, um, and click Done. And now we have the code. It's in our clip, clipboard. Let's go ahead and go to our Blackboard site. So I want to put it in my class here. And remember, I made a little tab for exercise science right there. And I'm going to build content. So I went to the area of the shell where I wanted to piece, uh, where I wanted to paste it, and then I hover over build content and create a new item. Now I have to name it something, and then I click this HTML button right here. That's how I'll see the code and I will paste in this code. I can do Command-V to paste it. You could also two-finger click if you want. 
I always like to do Command V. It's just easier. And I click Update. And it's going to look a little weird right here, but that's okay. It'll take it a minute. And set it to display whenever you would like for that to happen. I'll just do it immediately. And submit. And then, be kind of neat. There it is, what I just made. So when I'm ready to see the results of my, uh, the fruits of my labor, the results of these, I can go back in and I'll go back to my Google Drive and as you can see it automatically created a spreadsheet for me with the responses. So the student can go ahead and just do these parts. See how quick that is and it's in there. Alright, here's the one I just made. It's pretty good. And it's waiting, it's taking a minute. Sometimes it takes it a minute to sync, but that's okay, that's normal. See, you are finished, nice work. And when I go back to the Google Drive, I can see the answers that we're sending. So it's a nice way to do it, it's pretty easy. Um, if you have more questions about it or you want to see it in written form, you can always go to our website, bsu.edu slash ilearn, go to the tutorials page, um, and there's not one about making a form, but there is one about embedding items in Blackboard right there. So the second half of this um, I have a form about. Well, I hope that this helps you and that you are able to make some forms and send them right into your Blackboard. Thanks!